Praised be Jesus and Mary. Today, as we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents, we, uh, we actually commemorate uh, one of the most wicked uh, events in human history, uh, the, f- the fact that someone, because of his own uh, insecurity as well as his own arrogance would command the destruction of innocent human life. He was afraid that a a little baby was going to take his throne. Therefore, uh, to get rid of this child, he was willing to destroy all the children around Bethlehem. Just to make sure that one child, uh, the one child he was after, uh, would certainly uh, be among them. And in our own time, you know, we have seen uh, far worse things. Uh, We, you know, we can look at Stalin and what he did to uh, over 20 million people. We can look at uh, Hitler what he did to nearly uh, 10 million people. We can look at what goes on every single day. You know, over uh, 4,000 babies in uh, this country alone are are, uh, slaughtered because people don't want them. Uh, And how many others, you know, throughout the world as uh, millions and millions of babies are destroyed every year because of the selfishness of our society. We can see that uh, fallen human nature doesn't change. We have the same kind of uh, pride, the same kind of selfishness, and uh, the same uh, insecurities as uh, Herod himself had. As we uh, heard in the first reading, as well as the, uh, the gospel, you know, there's an awful lot of deception. The Magi were informed that uh, they were deceived by Herod. Uh, Herod surmised that he was deceived by the Magi Uh, St. John talks about how if uh, we claim we are without sin, uh, we deceive ourselves. And, you know, that's exactly what Satan, the deceiver, does to us. You know, in our fear, confusion, and uh, selfishness, he causes a, a huge amount of deception. Uh, We listen to his lies and and do some of the most unfortunate things, you know, all of us. If we look over the course of our lives, we would have to admit that that we've fallen into his deception many times. But in the midst of uh, all this, you know, there's great hope. Uh, God, who brings... uh, Good out of evil certainly brought about a great good through the uh, slaughter of the innocents over 2,000 years ago. Uh, And he's going to bring a a great good out of the slaughter of the innocents in our day. The innocent uh, blood that has been shed is a powerful witness uh, before the throne of God. It's all going to be addressed and made up for. We, uh, but we have, you know, as St. John tells us, an intercessor who is just, one who is before the throne of God, one who is, he was uh, spared at uh, the time of Bethlehem, you know, only to be slaughtered 33 years later. So each one of us, as we look at our own 
sinfulness, you know, needs to look at the cross. We need to uh, look at the cost of our sin. And rather than despairing, you know, in the face of our sins, no matter uh, how horrible uh, they are, it doesn't matter. We have only one place where we can go to be forgiven. And that's uh, to come before the Lord with all of our guilt, with all of our sinfulness. We need to come to one who is perfectly innocent and ask his forgiveness in the sacrament of confession, the sacrament of his mercy and love in all of our sinfulness and foolishness. We have on the cross, in the blessed sacrament, and in the confessional, an intercessor before the throne of God the Father, who is just, one who was willing to take on the guilt of those who are not innocent, you know, so that uh, our sins could be forgiven. Thank you.